Today, again, I'm going to show you how to do a recurring transaction in CardPoint. First is logging in. We actually have a demo account you can try this on. Go to cardpoint.com with an E and type in the username is dan at fdisp.com and the password is demo2020 dollar sign. I'm going to remove that so that I can log in here and log in and you'll go to the default screen in card point is the dashboard to the right of the dashboard is reporting and to the right of that's a virtual terminal so go to virtual terminal drop down and there's another menu below that for virtual terminal customers and billing plans since we're doing a recurring billing we're going to set up a billing plan so you're going to go to billing plans click on new billing plan and now you're going to have the credit card information so go ahead and populate that and you're going to fill that out on the on the left you can uh, email a receipt to this person and now the plan settings you have choices of daily weekly monthly or yearly you that you can bill this credit card so let's do monthly it's going to start tomorrow that's the default you can set it for any date and it's going to bill one time per month okay and it can be until canceled or you can do a date you can set a date to cancel it let's say you're going to go out to uh, january 25th or february 25th or you can set it for number of payments let's say i just want to do it three times okay it automatically look, uh, names it by the cardholder's name and puts plan at the end and then you need to put an amount in there let's put 250 dollars and then it'll preview it on the right side here so you can make sure before you save this plan that you have the uh, correct plan you look at it there so yeah 12 17 117 217 750 dollars total that's exactly what I want and save plan there are missing or invalid fields please check the fields in red that's because we didn't put in the credit card info so you're going to want to put in the demo visa number is four and 15 ones so you fill that in there and this will actually work as a demo you want to make sure the demo card is not expired so you just put any date that is not expired and now we're going to click down here to save the plan and that's it.